Good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I actually have this ornate dramatics right here. This male. He is literally getting so much blue as he reaches the point of maturity. I believe he's got a lot more to go. Today we're actually going to be talking about what the reptarium means to us. Let's get into it. One of my favorite parts of the reptarium is the variety of animals that we have. And honestly that was one of the things that dad was most proud of was being able to teach and show some of these people the most rare reptiles in the entire world. We have species that literally reptile lovers could only dream of seeing. And the coolest part more than likely You'll be able to hold them when you visit. If you remember, my dad saw an emerald tree bow in a magazine and always dreamed of having one. This place means so much to me and my family and to you guys. This is an embodiment of a dream, a creation of pure imagination, a manifestation, procrastination. I'm pretty sure dad, it's like, it's like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, you know, it's like, that level and it's not just one animal there's so many animals here look at the pied berm freaking pied albino berm this thing is beautiful temperament is getting so good already my dad went from a massive reptile breeder ball python breeder one of the largest in the world to vlogging and the vlog you guys created such a beautiful opportunity to make one man's dream become a reality and change the world i said that in a few videos that you are changing the world and bettering people to love animals and reptiles just like our girl switch right here. And that's so true. I remember one time Brian and I went to a zoo where Max Strong works over kind of by Tampa in Florida. Clint that runs the place said something that to me was so profound. He said, people loving animals makes people better people. And I couldn't agree more. So what do you want me to do? First, I want to ask you a question what this place means to you. But I think making it a little more challenging you hold the Gemacinta. What? Why is this challenging? Just use, be on the balls of your feet, all right? No, mom, I would genuinely put it down and you know, watch your face. You know I've dealt with these, right? I raised this up. I'm a baby. That was awesome and so funny. <laughs> What's going on with this? I've never seen it like this. Because it knows me. I Okay, keep your eye on that. What you want to ask What's me? the reptarian legacy? What's this place mean to you? You obviously built it up from nothing. This place means a lot to me. Sorry, I'm just blown away real quick. I've never seen it like this. It's an amazing thing that I... I can't even put into word how cool it is because it's something that me and your dad were able to create from nothing but our imagination and taking something that you know he always wanted and creating something that we could share all of the people that want to come and visit us it's a dream come true you know and i think that's part of the whole reason why it makes me so happy when i'm here whether we're open or not it's amazing both times times you're just walking through just me remembering seeing all the things and then it's also amazing when i get to share it yeah. with everybody it's really everything to me <laughs> I feel like I feel like this wasn't as romantic as you wanted it to be. <laughs> Have you seen, it hasn't struck once. It hasn't even moved. It hasn't moved. <laughs> Have you ever seen that? It's immediately getting so mad, dude. No, I'm just kidding. There it's we go. Great. Magic mic touch. All right, let's uh, put this thing back. <laughs> no. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> That was a close call. Jay is a longtime friend of mine, and I met Noah through Jay. Within the first month of meeting Noah, I hopped in the back of a van with Noah, both Jays, and Brian, and literally drove down to Florida to Animal Con. When I'm telling you, I had no idea. That's probably kind of <laughs> not good. I had no idea who Brian was. I had no idea who Noah was, and I'm just like in the back of the van going. We're on the way down to Florida, you know, we'd stop at the gas stations, and people were recognizing Brian, and I'm literally like, who is this freaking long-haired, ponytailed guy? I know we're going to some show, but like, what are we doing? And then when we get to Florida, I'm like, oh, this is his. Animal Con is his. What is this? What is he doing? And then like through, you know, the years, I've been able to really like learn and discover like who Brian is. And honestly, I still am learning and discovering different stories I hear from people or like through Noah or Lori or it's it's crazy because I still I don't think I have the full scale as to who Brian is and what he's done. I have like this snippet and it's amazing. And now starting with the legacy and when that's being built, I mean, how amazing is that gonna be? Continuation of the Barcheck name, my future family lineage and Cameron, my sister's kids. I mean, what that means, got this little ribbon here and that means stuff about pancreatic cancer, lost my dad, but it's so special to have a place. Our little kids can come, we can come, feel connected to our dad and be reminded that actually Anything you dream of, it's possible to achieve. Does it mean that you're going to achieve everything? No. There's a possibility. 
like nothing is out of the picture. Nothing is necessarily impossible. There's always odds for it to be successful, for it to be built like this, for it to be built like the Legacy. I don't know if you know, because it's a hard in a video. The Legacy building and the actual aquarium and reptarium is massive. I'm talking Walmart size full of animals and fish. This is next level stuff that people never achieve in their life. My dad just a random kid from a small town in Michigan and he did this. My mom too, but it's crazy. All right, Jay, quick maths. What'd you say? Quick maths. What does this place mean to you? And this place, the Reptarium Legacy. Oh God. What does it mean? It means so much. That's such a loaded, hard, terrible question. It is pretty big. So much. Are you holding the snake or is the snake holding you? He's definitely holding me. And that brings me to what this place means to me. I mean, educating the world is like the most important thing. 90% of it starts with the youth. Right? So as you guys know, I love teaching the kids. Giving them experiences that they can't get anywhere else. And I mean, even past the kids, I also love just teaching people that don't know things about snakes. Like Noah here with Almachino has no idea what he's doing, obviously. And so it's going the way it's going. What this place means to you is educating people Ugh. what reptiles are. Yeah, and I just want to break all the stigmas that all these people have. You know, snakes are mean and ow, scary and horrible and they want to hurt you. I mean, look at my boy Almachino here. I don't know if you guys remember, but me and Almachino, ow, have came a long way, you know. And that's not a pun because of how long the snake is. The animals that we can save in this world by people just knowing the value, appreciating them, respecting them. We are changing the world with this place. That guy who was scared of snakes, now he's not scared of snakes. Now maybe he's gonna tell his, his friend friends, who's scared of snakes, his mom, go his grandma, here, exactly. Nephews, The kids. same person that was like probably chopping a snake's head off, he now might be the voice of reason at that barbecue where they're trying to like kill a garter snake. When I first got into snakes, my family didn't like reptiles, uh, specifically snakes, but through my love of reptiles, they started to gain an appreciation for reptiles. Now, my mom lives in Florida, and all of her neighbors that would normally cut the heads off of snakes, like Jay was saying, I'll call her. She comes over, takes a look at it, lets them know, hey, this is not venomous, this is gonna take care of pests for you, and they leave it alone. And that's the reason we do what we do. Little baby, little dragon. There we go. Now, if you don't know, this is the professional way to take your real dragons out when you're cleaning a cage. So I gotta take that out. Let's go real quick, change the water. You know, my dad started keeping reptiles and some of the first generations of reptile keepers. I know that there were some pioneers before him, but before that, reptile keeping was relatively new. The husbandry that has become the reptile hobby. You got places like the Reptarium. You got people like Serpa Design and Dr. Plants that honestly are changing the game, taking it to the next level. And that's something that we strive for as well. And that started with my dad. Husbandry has came so far. This is just It doesn't work. No, that does not. Work. I mean, look at this. This is pretty cool. I mean, it's basically, Oh, they're gonna be so pissed. I'm gonna make the biggest mess. It's basically like a little chunk of the rainforest, you know? Now that's what we strive for, and it's only gonna get crazier at the reptarium. Gabby, I could use your head. Can Gabby. You just call me? Yeah. Head? yeah. Are they gonna come? They're gonna jump. No, they probably will. Okay. Maybe that's not the best idea. <laughs> no. Be around just in case I need you. Ah. Okay. Let me put him on my shirt. Am I bleeding? How do they normally clean? I mean, they. I, I don't know. I've never they probably done this. put them. <laughs> you really think they would have a smaller touch span for this? I mean, they probably. Let me. Something. Let me go. Let me go. Oh my goodness. Look at that one. Is that a triple stack? <laughs> That's a triple turtle stack. So this is what we're talking about, is we're talking about love, love of animals, right? And look at these turtles. They're loving each other right now. <laughs> the double bomb belly dive. Look at this triple stack. I, I love one of my favorite things about this turtle pond, and I'm so excited for the turtle pond next door, is the triple, Mike, come look at this. A triple turtle stack. Wow, that looks so pretty. You said pretty? Pretty. <laughs> I think it looks turtly awesome. Okay. Oh, hey guys. How you doing? The Red means a lot. I mean, if you guys didn't know, I've been here just almost three and a half years now, and I love every single second. But what it really means to me, I know Jay said that he likes the edu education side of it, and I do too, don't get me wrong. I love to educate people about these animals. My favorite thing about working with these animals every single day is learning more and more about them. And the reason why I chose Ivy right now is you guys know how much I love hate her. It's more love 
than hate besides the pee. But what I love seeing and learning every single day is about the animals. And most people don't get to work with a 160 pound anaconda every day. For the longest time, they were like an Amazon myth of people like, oh, I don't get to see anacondas. And now that they're in captivity all the time, we're learning so much about them. So everything from the giant snakes, from anacondas, retics, to monitors, to iguanas, to turtles. What else do we have? Alligators and the crocodilians, everything. It's so cool for me to learn and see their different personalities and their behavior. You could read about in a book, but it doesn't make sense until you see it in person. And one thing that I love about Ivy is the way that she hunts. You know, they're designed for their eyes to be more on the top of their head and then they sit in the water with just her nose in their eyes, just like a crocodilian. And then they wait for that thing to come to the edge of the water and then bam, I just hit it with all that force. That gets me so excited. I talk about it a million times. One of my favorite thing is feeding snakes. And to see these snakes reaction in the wild like, ah, something's touching my leg. Take off! I saw your re reflection. It scared me, I won't even lie. That's what I love about the Raptorian. If you didn't know, I'm branded for life. I love this place. All right, I'm gonna finish this up. Actually, I, I think I'm, I don't know. I think I'm done. They got it, they'll fix it. Connie, Connie, what is this the place most mean, mean to you? you? Uh, what? Connie, what, the, well, I thought what we are we Connie doing? First. Connie, Connie, what, what does, does this place, place mean to you? you? You're gonna ask me that right now. Connecting to create people, experiences with animals, meaningful. No, no, I mean this. I know I'm saying it weird. Basically bringing people closer to animals, creating long-lasting memories that they're going to carry with them for the rest of their lives. And is that what you said? It sounds oh. like the mission statement. That's why I'm like, wait, that's am I just saying That's kind of what I said. It kind of sounded like the mission statement. statement. Yeah. I think that's but good, that though. But that is what it is. Because mm -hmm. if they care about them, they will protect them. They'll grow up Listen, can I tell both of you guys something? Before, that, like, you guys, like, really uh, got Something here. that he used to always say that, I don't know why we got out of the hang of saying If it. you can touch it, you'll love it. And if yeah. you will love it, you'll want to protect it. Mm -hmm. So that, exactly. every you day. Know, the opposite of fear is knowledge. You know what he started saying for a little bit? Ooh, that's sexy. <laughs> did he? Yeah. I say did. that every day. Hey, Noah. Okay, no, Noah, no, Noah, no, listen. Like, I don't understand what this guy does. Again. And those are some of the reasons why this place is so special to us and touches on our heartstrings. And another reason why we're so excited to open that place across the street right there. It's so cool to be working here, to be able to look out the window exactly across the street, see the progress developing every day. And I can't wait till that place is finished. Speaking of finished! Oh man, I'm locked out! Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.